people. So, I'm having a bit of a self-reflection here, just working with my resentments and stuff like you do. Absolutely confused as ever. <laughs> Jokes. But um, I have found one again, right? And that's family. Right. So, my family had to put up with me in denial mode for so many years and I pushed them all away. I was a cunt to them. This is the easiest way to put it terminology-wise that you would understand. So, that's not very nice. And that's why they push me away. That's why they can't trust me. That's why they put me up and put me down. Because if you can't. You have to juggle a hot potato, you hear what I'm saying? So, I've always wondered why my aggression links to my family. So, self-reflection. I am the man of our family. Right. End of discussion. I am the born blood male of the family. I am the male of the pride. So, anyone even looks, anyone even talks, Anyone even sees them struggling what's past. Any of my family, if you don't know them, get to know their pictures. Get to know them. Any of their, well, Meg's partner, Chloe's partner, Rob James, any of them. Paul, Angela, Kieran, Callum, Cameron. All my guardian angels. Uh, Badger, I suppose I'm going to go after you because you're, you're a bit pathetic, aren't you, mate? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah, so if anything even goes wrong towards them, I'll be going wrong towards you, alright? Because my aggression is meant to be used at times, like the Incredible Hulk. If I have to use it, it will be used. If I have to self-sacrifice my time inside because you disrespect my family pride, this lion's eating, he's always hungry, don't forget. I'm ready for action, right? That's why I've been working out. I don't even know what I've been trying to work out for, but I've been working out, so I'm fully fit. I'm like a fiddle, my heart's connected to my body. I'm a powerful spirit, right, who's stamping down now on this sort of shit, especially domestic violence as well. Any male person, right, I don't care what females are doing to you, you man your fucking shit up, mate, and find something to do. Stop tying your shoes back to front and fucking sideways, right? Put your shoes on straight, go, I am gonna do stuff, instead of sitting there depressed on the Xbox, Getting ill, right? Get out, make a fucking difference to the world. Because we need men of valor now at this time and stage because society's cabbage, right? I'll keep fighting, right? Because I'm a fighter, I'm a fixer, right? That's what I do. So, soon, well, motivational outreach is ready. I'm a 24 hour charity. So, uh, my time is here to help you guys 24 hours a day, alright? Anything. We are just a charity based on motivating the world. Motivational outreach reaches everyone. Right. We're going to eradicate homelessness here. We're going to eradicate domestic violence here. We're going to eradicate all labels that a society gives everyone to live by. We're going to get a realisation and make Britain great again. But for that I need some more lines. Because you've got to have the lion attitude to make a difference. A lion, yeah, he gets what he's going to get. Right, he doesn't wait. He doesn't sit there chewing grass in a field, being pathetic, waiting for a bit to fall in my lap. He wakes up and goes, I'm eating. And then he goes and eats. Yum, I love eating. Right. I don't want it falling in my lap no more. It gave me 33 years of shit doing that. But yeah, all you guys want to sit there and pretend like your lives are really great and you're happy. You're not happy. If you were happy, you'd be doing more of your time, like I do. So, coming soon to a place near you, the official opening of motivational outreach. Oh.